Hello everyone, it's uh, the Nova Scotia Boat Builder Dude Guy, whatever. Um, yeah, I started doing a new YouTube channel on this uh, model boat project that I've been currently working at, that you're looking at. Uh, this is some more progress on it. Uh, I just started a keel and uh, unfortunately I have it on wrong. It's not straight, so the boat's kind of curved out this direction, which really it is not good. It's not what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to try to correct that and put a piece sort of that curves in this way a little bit. I don't know if that will affect some of the uh, water, but I think I might just kind of do some adjustments to the keel. I mean the keel is going to come out a little bit. It's going to be a, a bit of a deep keel because I don't want this thing to capsize too much when it hits a strong wind. Uh, of course it gets very, very windy here in the maritime provinces. So today we're just gonna take some, I get some interior wall paint, basically. And we're gonna, I know this is kind of a funny way of doing this. This is a funny build for this thing, but I wanna make sure that, I mean this, this is just gonna go on here and it's going to uh, just basically fill the cracks, you know, I got the green paint in there, the green paint was just, this stuff's going to be the interior paint, and then there's going to be another coat of paint, which is going to be the final color. And then I got to put all my hardware in, that this is just going to hopefully strengthen it. I am going to get some um, fiberglass material, specifically designed for model boats at the hobby shop at some point and I'm going to do the exterior but I'm doing all this before I do that because I want to make sure this thing is is sealed and the, basically the paint is also kind of like a sealer itself Those, this is a cheap way of building a model boat this isn't you know this is inexpensive so you know you're gonna build something like this for farting around basically I mean when I was younger I didn't have a whole lot of money, so this is how I used to build boats with whatever I could find. And usually, you know, you can build up, you can build these things for under a hundred bucks. I'm not kidding. Without the receiver and all that, because I used to build these, but they were not remote at all. They were just, you know, you slap in a motor and a battery, and then off it went. This one is a little bit more than that. Um, I actually have the receiver and it's going to arrive in the mail today. I have to go down and see if it comes. It's just a, it was the receiver cost about, you know, the, about 60 bucks for the receiver control and all that. I'm pretty sure I can get like a cheapy cheap thing. Also what I'm doing, this here will help me actually will help harden them. And this is this like this type of paint is usually water resistant. You know, where this part of the hull is not going to actually be submerged. I want this in the interior. And this is kind of like a priming stage anyway. We're just priming it so that way we can basically seal off any gaps in the duct tape. And as you can see, it looks really good. I mean that compartment looks like you know you can fill this up with water and it will hold I had it in the uh, bathtub earlier doing another bathtub test and I probably put maybe five pounds of weight in it and there was hardly any leaks so you know she's held up so far but that's nothing I mean in the bathtub is nothing we we want to really test this when with this thing's finished we want to really take this out and see what she'll do the only way to truly test a model boat is, of course, you've got to put it in water and see how it performs. It's going to be a little while before we get to that, but I want this thing done by the uh, summer, so that way, during the summer, on the weekends, I can take her down to the lake. Um, there's a lake, there's several lakes in the area. Um, one being, like, a five-minute walk from here, or maybe a little longer, like five, ten-minute walk the other in the other direction and then I've got one that's literally just down over the hill it's a large lake and that's a pretty big lake so I've got about three or four places that I can go 
to launch this thing for the first launch. But I think the best spot to go is the lake that's in behind Sobeys and where I can go because it's the easiest to get to and it's the easiest lake to actually sail this from because you can get a, get pretty much around the entire lake without really too much intrusion because well and that it's probably the best location because there's not as much uh, obstacles that this thing can get entangled on but I mean that's what the motors are for the motors are to uh, get you from one situation now I could do it like a true way of sailing and just have it completely you know motorized you know but then you know there's no oh, oh excuse me guys I'm just a little still a little tired I've been up late so we're painting the bulkheads which you know got to make sure this cardboard is completely sealed because if it's not we don't want the cardboard to kind of get all waterlogged on us and then it defeats the purpose of the bulkheads and yeah you see I've got like three bulkheads and I got this big open space which the bulkheads are only go up to the bow then all this well these are just you know if there's any leaks back here we don't want our sensitive equipment to get wrecked so all your um like the servos and batteries and whatnot, it's going to be up in this section. Well, not the servos. Um, it's going to be a servo back here, and then the servo for the motors are going to be in here somewhere. And then I'm going to have my batteries and whatnot. And I mean, I want to keep it separate from the rear because you know, if you get a little bit of flooding in the back, and here's the other compartment I have not yet to put in. And that's going to go in the back, but I'm waiting to do that until after I get the motors, so that way I know what I'm dealing with here. Yeah, right now I'm just kind of sloppily painting this thing. It's just, just kind of having some fun here, talking to you guys. So anyway, if you like this kind of thing and you want to see more of this project, let me know. You know, leave a comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and you know, and support this video. And I will do the best I can to put what I can up, and we'll go from there, and maybe we'll have some fun boat building. Who knows? And then we'll get to sail this thing. And if the if this you know YouTube thing takes off, I'll probably end up doing bigger, better boats, something that's a little more not so kitty crap built. This is this is kind of scratch built, so you know it's not bad for scratch built, but I can make this thing thousand times better. I've been doing this for years and years and years so you know I've got a lot of skill but you know I don't have the technology to really go out and buy all the proper tools and equipment and I'm just too lazy to do it. So we're just kind of making a boat that you know and this this is the type of project that you can do up for the kids like within a few weeks get them to help you build it and then you can take this thing out with the kids out to the lake and sail it and that's the idea with this it's a cheap quick boat that you know you can build in, in a short amount of time for very cheap especially for someone who's on low budget this is perfect you're on a really low budget you don't have a lot to spend you want to build a boat just so the kids can just play around with this is the project for you because it's it's easy it's easy to do it takes you know no money and it practically uses materials you'd have I mean to make the ball kids you, you can just use like cardboard that's all I did and popsicle sticks like you can make the whole thing out of cardboard if you really wanted to but I think I might do that is like make a boat out of complete cardboard I mean if anyone wants to see me do some crazy builds I'd love to do them also, painting the bulkheads helps with waterproofing because it's not a it's not a permanent fix, but it definitely helps. It's cheap. This is this is cheap waterproofing. This is cheap cheap everything. This is a cheap way of doing it. Matter of fact, this can of paint was probably about thirty bucks, 
and I actually am, <laughs> yeah, wasting it. So yeah, this, this, the paint's not cheap. The paint's good quality paint, actually. If you're wondering what this is for here, it's for the, it was originally for the mass support, but this here part here, column here, this is for one mast, and then there's going to be another mast right in here. So this thing's going to have at least two, two, two tall masts. I think the masts are going to be a couple of feet. So when this thing's finished, it's going to look really sharp, especially from a distance. You guys will see that when, you know, as this project progress. Anyway, you know, all the green paint's gone and you got this uh, funky color now. And, you know, like I said before, you just want to get in. You want to get the paint everywhere. You want the paint in all the holes. The paint is your filler. And, yeah, I got to do the decking and all that fun stuff and sand. I'll do a little sanding. So there you go. There, there you have it. You have a, a cheaply made boat. You know, it's a nice project. I know the duct tape's not the best for the hull, simply because, you know, you hit something or poke a hole in the hull accidentally, this thing's going to go down. That's why I'm going to use a fiberglass covering later on. So the duct tape really is... Well, you can almost rip the duct tape off and then put the fiberglass cloth over top and then go from there. But in the next boat project I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do. This is just a, a simple, quick build. And, and like I said before, just get, get the paint everywhere. Get the paint in all the cracks. Because you want this thing to be practically unsinkable. Well, it's not unsinkable yet. If you take this down to the lake and sail it, you know, as is, it's actually pretty cold out to do this sort of thing. And I'm going to be using like a lot of drone parts for this build too. So the motors are going to be, well, they're, they're going to be cheap crap motors. So they're not going to be the best quality. I'm not building a speedboat. I'm building a, basically a cruiser that's just going to be sailing gently across the lake at a, at a reasonably soft speed. It's not going to be like a speedboat or anything. That's not the idea. Anyway, folks, um, there you have it. I'll show more of the project at a later date. We're going to let this dry and come back to it in a little while, and that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this episode, uh, and if you did, you know, let me know what you think, if you have any ideas. Anyway, folks, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye. Whatever. <laughs> I'm kidding. See you guys later.